Okay, we're going to take a look at the real candidate moves that we utilize. So it's position, checks, captures, threats, support, blocking, and then back to position. So here we're going to put a threat onto this pawn here, or I like to call them checks, but it just brings it a little bit higher up the um, my mental thought process. So a position, it's not going to be detrimental to my position at all. And it's actually threatening this piece here, putting a check on this pawn. Looking to obliterate the center if uh, required. So simple capture. Positionally, that's not too bad a position for us as well. So this is why we've maintained this type of attack process. So the bishop's attacking the queen, so we can develop our bishop, which would be attacking the bishop again. So we're going to attack the bishop. So all the while, it's about really assessing the movements, reacting to what the opponent's actually doing, having a look to see whether or not within the areas that they're attacking, is there anything we can take advantage of? weak spaces, weak pieces, weak squares, you know, taking advantage. This allows us to actually get two pieces because we can actually take the bishop because it's supported by the knight. If the knight takes, then the queen can take as well. So positionally, um, we were okay with that type of situation. The opponent obviously um, has allowed us to take advantage there. So we're up a minor piece at the moment. They're considering now actually capturing and losing another piece. So they don't have to capture. They could just wear the fact that they've lost the minor piece and just look to improve their position going forward. And maybe just um, get on with castling or something. Yeah, so they've done an attack of some sort, okay? So we could continue our attack by actually capturing. It does go checks, captures, threats, support, blocking. Or we do have another check on their piece. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually isn't wrong. If we did capture, again, it almost feels quite not too bad for us because if the knight takes we can take the knight queen takes we can mobilize our knight to attack the queen so i don't see there's a big of a problem with that so we're actually going to capture the pawn because it looks better for our position could have moved the bishop out of the way so that it doesn't get captured but at this moment in time the queen is still okay managing this square it does look like the opponent has left the game and they're back again so key candidate maneuvers well psychology position checks captures threats support blocking then position it might when you first start out in chess playing chess utilizing any type of candidate type selection process will take a while because there's so many things going on on the board um, at one stage one of those um, candidate moves will be the right one but then in the next breath the other one might be a better one so it's for you to assess which ones you believe work better for you in terms of giving you the position that you like to play in and that's the diff that's what separates every chess player you know everyone's got their own decision as to what move they believe is a better move even if the engine says it's a rubbish move as a human um you have your own sort of playing style so learning to be yourself learning to do your own candidate selections um does make you very unique looks like they're definitely left the game now